Today, lesson 29A, word problems involving two-step inequalities. So today, we utilize all of these little things that we've learned with regards to solving inequalities. And a lot of these types of word problems are extremely similar to the types of word problems that we dealt with right after two-step equations. So there's a lot of similarities there. So today, solve word problems involving two-step inequalities. And also, you're going to be able to write inequalities from word problems. So a little bit of background knowledge. I think every day for the last four or five lessons, I've put up this chart here. Because every time we're dealing with some sort of word phrase where we have to turn it into an inequality, uh, there are other phrases that represent inequalities, like is fewer than and so on. It's not the first time we've seen this chart. And today's word problems will involve those things. Okay? A little bit more background knowledge. When I talk about two-step word problems, this is what a typical two-step word problem looks like. And what we had to recall was we had to recall where the X went. In this case, it went with the 25 because we have $25 per lesson. It is that 25 that changes every time another a lesson is added on. That's why the X goes with that. Uh, plus the recital fee of $50, and we were trying to figure out how many lessons the student had to take if they paid a total of $175. I've been putting these type of word problems every day on the homework since the day that we did these, which was a couple weeks ago. So by now, you should be extremely familiar with these types. Well, the type of word problems that we deal with today are really the same exact thing. The only difference is we have to figure out which inequality that we're going to use. And of course, once we get our equation or inequality set up, we need to solve and then make sure that we answer with a complete sentence that makes sense for the problem. Okay? All right. So here is number one. This problem looks really, really similar to the background knowledge problem that I put up there. The only difference is she wants to pay no more than $175 instead of a total of $75. So let's do this one together. The $25 per lesson, it's the $25 that is changing every single time depending on how many lessons she takes. That's 25x plus the recital fee of $50. Now the only question is, what does no more than mean? Greater than? Greater than? That sounded like you were asking me a question. That sounded like greater than? Like you weren't quite sure. Um, so some of us are guessing right now. So we need to go back to, in fact, let's take a time out here for a second. Everybody find notes. And you've had that chart in the notes for several different days. Now, as we're locating these notes, uh, for tomorrow's quiz, you don't have to know what these little phrases turn into as far as inequalities go. But next week's test, you will. So at some point in the next week, you're going to, if you don't understand what they mean, you're going to have to memorize them. That's, that's your only choice. You either get it or you need to memorize it in terms of what it really means. All right, so what does... We know it's going to be 25x plus 50 and then blank $175. So we need to know kind of what no more than represents. Yes? It is less than or equal to. And if you find that chart, that's what it does mean. So here is our inequality. Now from here, we just need to solve that inequality. So we would subtract 50 from both sides. That's obvious. We would then divide both sides by 25. That's obvious. And then our solution to that inequality is x is less than or equal to 5. But we need to answer this with a complete sentence that represents what we are looking for. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to turn to your shoulder partner, and between the two of you, I want you to come up with a sentence that will represent what we are looking for here. We are looking for this. It says, how many lessons can the student take if she pays no more than $175. Go ahead, get together with your shoulder partner, and you have about 45 seconds to come up with a sentence. Aiden? Uh, the student can take no more than five lessons. 
Yeah, and I like the fact that you use no more than in there because a lot of times um, the, the word phrase that's within the word problem will work. So what I mean is a lot of times you could just use what's right there, and that's exactly why I use a different colored font right there. Not every single time, but a lot of the time uh, you can. You just need to make sure that if you're going to use it that it makes sense for the problem. Okay, so a decent sentence is the student can take uh, no more than five lessons. All right, so we have to remember all these things that we talked about when we talked about equations. Look for words like per or for each or for every or other words that could represent the same thing. Nate, we need to make sure that our total is that we're looking for on one side of the inequality. And then from there, make sure that your x goes where it needs to go for the reasons that we've talked about with equations. All right. Everybody try number two. Set up the inequality and then solve. So, Raul, give me the original inequality, please. Okay, very good. 45x plus 180 below means, or is below, either one represents uh, less, is less than. So from there we solve our inequality and we get a solution. Bushra, what did you get for your solution? Uh, x is less than 60. All right, we subtract 180 from both sides, divide by 45, and the solution is x is less than 16. Brooke? Sentence. It will take him fewer than 16. Yeah, and did, just out of curiosity, because I thought you were getting ready to use below in the sentence, and that wouldn't make a lot of sense, right? So you used it will take him less than 16 weeks. Um, I used something else, or maybe I did use less than. I did. It will take Sam less than 16 weeks. So if you tried to use the word below, that really doesn't make a lot of sense it will take Sam below 16 weeks. We wouldn't usually say something like that. So just make sure, whatever you use, that it represents the same thing and it makes sense uh, for the problem. All right, let's go to number three. Uh, Maritza, what would you get for your inequality? Okay, very good. And these are the reasons why. Now we solve that. And Stephanie, our solution is? X is less hold on, hold on. The solution is? The solution is X is less than or equal to 15. How did it become less than or equal to 15? Just curious. Or did you use the wrong inequality from the beginning? X is greater than or equal to Yeah, did you use the wrong one from the beginning? No. Okay. Why, yeah, why did you flip it then? Because we're not multiplying or dividing by a negative number, right? I wrote it wrong. That's what, that's what I mean. That's what I was trying to get at. Okay. All right, and then we need a sentence, Melina. It will take her at most 15 weeks. At most. Well, but at most does not mean the same thing as at least. The problem was asking for at least $249. At most means less than or equal to. So if you, go ahead. I got confused because you said, um, because she did the wrong thing. So I thought we had the same answer. So. No, 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 no. Well, I don't know what happened there. But when she read to me X is less than or equal to, then I, that made me think that maybe she started off with the wrong inequality. So, yeah, the sentence should be something like it will take her at least 15 weeks. And a lot of times, once again, the thing that we're looking for within the problem, we can use in our sentence. We just need to double check and make sure that everything makes sense there. All right. Number four. All the way through, please. Inequality for this one should look like this. Uh, 55x plus 75. We have this more than, which, of course, is represented by the inequality is greater than. So uh, we put that together. Here is our inequality. We subtract 75 from both sides. That is the subtraction property of inequalities. Then divide both sides by 55. That is the division property of inequalities. Our solution is x is greater than 5. But now we need a sentence that would represent this situation. 
Uh, here is a sentence that will work. She must drive more than five hours. And here we have another one where what was mentioned within our problem can make sense with our sentence. All right, last problem for today. Everybody go ahead and do number five all the way through. All right, inequality for this one. The X goes with the 65. It is the $65 per hour. That means the 65 is changing every hour, plus the 50. And then no, it, uh, no less than is represented by the inequality is greater than or equal to. And once again, if you don't have those phrases memorized in terms of inequalities, you either know what they mean, you understand what they mean, or you're going to need to memorize them. So at this point, after we subtracted 50 from both sides, we divide both sides by 65. Our solution is x is greater than or equal to 8. A sentence that could represent that uh, would be, it took no less than 8 hours to install. All right, we are finished for today.